Right, back to Victoria, where the country's worst Premier, Daniel Andrews, is laughing as the opposition implodes despite debt blowing out, a looming horror budget for him and the corruption allegations that just won't go away. All because the Liberal opposition leader, John Pesuto, tried to expel new MP Moira Deeming from the party room because a women's rights rally she attended was gatecrashed by neo-Nazis. After a powerful speech in her own defence, Pizzuto's expulsion motion was withdrawn. It was withdrawn because it was set to fail in the party room. And to help save his leadership, Deeming, in good faith, agreed to accept a nine-month suspension on the basis that Pizzuto would then issue a statement exonerating her from any suggestion of Nazi sympathies. That statement, says Deeming, has never been forthcoming. Now, I've asked John Pursuta myself for a copy and his office have confirmed there is no joint statement. It all should have been pretty simple. A suspension, a joint statement and confirmation the Deeming's allowed back into the party room when a nine-month suspension is over. Only as I revealed to you on Tuesday night, the Liberals now can't even agree on what actually happened in that meeting six weeks ago. With the minutes still not available, despite three separate versions going around, and the official minute taker, Upper House MP Renee Heath, claiming she's been bullied over the minutes by John Pesuto and his office, and the Conservative women, she says, face chronic bullying inside the Liberal Party. Now, I ask you, if you can't sort out bloody party room meetings after two months, how can you even hope to run the state? It's all a monumental mess, an own goal from a leader with shocking poor judgment who's jumped to false conclusions and overreacted to now two female colleagues. I mean, the whole basis for Deeming's ban is that she was accused of being a Nazi or a neo-Nazi sympathiser but just listen to Pizzuto on this very point today. The outcome of the party room meeting on the 27th of March was very clear. It was based on a dossier uh, which formed the basis of the motion. The party room in, uh, overwhelmingly accepted the outcome of the meeting, which was a nine month suspension, a statement to be prepared jointly, which was in fact done on the day, and then confirmation publicly, which I've done throughout many, many occasions speaking to you, which I'm happy to do again, that nothing in the dossier ever accused more redeeming of being a Nazi or herself having Nazi sympathy. So why is she suspended then, John? Because this is what you said back in March on Neil Mitchell. Kelly J. Key. And she's had associations uh, with, she's got associations with Nazis. Who? Well, well, OK, so um, Jean-Francois Jeropy, um, she's done videos with Richard Spencer, Mark Collett, uh, Klu Klux Klan leader, David Duke. Uh, there's a long... Were they vid videos or interviews? Video, videos, interviews, she said, platforms with... Those comments are in relation to Kelly J. Keane. She had not done videos with neo-Nazis, the interviewer had interviewed her, Kelly J. Keen and neo-Nazi sympathisers, allegedly, with a three-year difference between the two. But in any event, none of that related to Deeming. But that was a charge levelled against her. Now, surely, this is what happens when you go off half-cocked, you then realise you've made a big mistake, but you dig in harder because you don't want to admit it. Now, that's the test of leadership, isn't it? And that's the test for John Pizzuto. You admit you've got it wrong, you fix it, and you move on. Now, I might add, the Liberal Party room, unlike the Liberal Party room in Canberra, actually has a written constitution. And in that constitution, I've looked very carefully, there is not the capacity for a suspension motion. It doesn't even exist. Indeed, the word suspension is not in the constitution. So how there is a suspension of Moira Deeming in the Liberal Party room in Victoria baffles me. Now, at the very least, Victorian Liberal Party, people in this state deserve a decent opposition. And John Pesuto, if you can't lead one, then step down and allow someone else to do it.